Hi everybody, it's your girl Bunny. It's the Netflix original series, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. Season one, episode four, the first thing I remember is fire. It's coming up next. <laughs> It's Bunny. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hup, he's still in captivity in Stone in the Wood, and he's looking so sad as if he'll never get out. I'm surprised he didn't bust out in song. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just sitting there looking all sad and we got the soldiers that, in, uh, that are in front of the bars of where he is and all of a sudden they hear some noises and they're like, what's that? What's that? And then all of a sudden we see something flying through the air going rawr, rawr. and we see that they've changed the color of their eyes and they're like, what is that? It's a monster. It's a monster. But the audience can see that it is Deet. She has disguised herself to look like a monster so she can bust through and help up and she's flying through and causing all of this wind by her wings and things are flying all over the place and she's able to use her weight and bust through the cages and she's able to rescue Hup. Way to go Deeds. So Princess Brea, remember she's been led to this secret place and when she gets underneath she sees this area full of stone and in each corner, corner there are different symbols that represent all of the seven clans of Thra. And she sees that it's a verbiage that basically says to put the clans in order in order to have balance. So she starts to think, hmm, stone in the wood is here. Hmm, Groton is here. And every attempt that she does you can see something start to emerge and then her answer is incorrect. It's like this puzzle that she has to figure out in order to get further in the answer or to find out what this underground room means. And every time she tries to switch around the puzzles in a certain order, it doesn't work. So she knows that of all the reading that she's done in her library, she needs to do a little more research to figure out what is the true order of all the seven clans to figure out this puzzle. So we get to the castle where the Skeksis are and the emperor is past upset. He's upset with Chamberlain because he hasn't been able to, his, to fulfill his promise. You already let Rion get away. You told me that if we made up this lie, that he killed the Gelfling, that everything would be great. Now we've lost this. Now we lost that. Now the machine doesn't work. You said that you were going to keep everything in order here in order to keep our lie alive. And you have not stuck to your word. So he snatches away Tra Chamberlain's status, which is basically being the advisory to the emperor and, and, and making sure that everything stays at the way that it is there with the Skeksis. And he gives it to the battle general and he gives that position to him because he says, now I need somebody that can go out there and fight and, and get their hands dirty and get what we need, which is Rion, because we need to make sure that he's done so nobody else can figure out our secret. And of course, Chamberlain is very upset and he doesn't understand. And he says, well, I'm the one that said that we need to put the rumor out that he killed the girlfriend and people are believing that. And also, I worked with the scientist so he can hurry up and figure out what he needed to do with the machine so we could get all of the essence. So why am I being demoted? But the emperor is not having it. He even goes as far as telling the battle general, do what you need to do to get what we need to get. And he also tells the scientist, hurry up with all of your research and what you need to do and quickly because you keep saying that you're going to fix the machine, but we're, we'll, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Hurry up or the consequences will be very rough. You thought you lost one eye, but I can do worse, so get the machine 
working. And he also asked the scientist, how many Gelfling do you think we need to capture a good amount of essence? And the scientist says, well, you know, I don't know. And he says, well, give me a number. And he says, I guess 50? And he says, yes, we need 50 Gelfling. And he's like, well, well, wait, Emperor, you have to remember, the more life that we take from the crystal, the quicker the darkness spreads throughout Thra. And the emperor's not have, having it. He's like, I don't care. He tells the, the, the battle general, what do you think we need to do? And the battle general is just like, I got this. Let me think of some strategies. The emperor asked the battle general, what do you think we need to do? And he thinks that it's most important that they call on to the hunter. And the hunter is the sketchy that can go out and can summons what they want. So they blow a specific horn at the top of the castle to summons the hunter. And the hunter comes to the emperor and asks him what he needs. And he's like, we need to find Rion and we need to get him back here ASAP. The emperor also wants the battle general to go to Hurrah and kind of research and listen, put his ears to the wind to see what everybody's been talking about because he needs to know, have our rumors been working and maybe we can find out a little bit more detail about Rion. And if we don't find Rion, maybe we can get into Almatra's ear to tell her this is a bad person and if anybody finds Rion, they need to summon him back to the Skitsis. Princess Brea, she is stuck with this puzzle and cannot figure out how to put the different symbols in order to create the balance and unlock the puzzle that she needs. But she sees this stone, this purple stone, and says, hmm, I can't figure out the right order. Let me put it in the center. So she gets the purple stone and she puts it in the center where the stone is in the middle of the room. And all of a sudden the stones start to rumble and the walls start to move. And she's like, that's it. That is the puzzle. There is no order. All of the clans are equal. We are all equal and we all have importance that is equal to the world of Thra. And when she figures out the puzzle, this stone creature emerges and she's scared, of course, because she doesn't know if it's gonna attack her. But with biting language, it leans to her and letting her know that he's there to help. And he also has these stones that read of sound as he presses his finger to the stone as if it's like a record player because the stones are turning and there's different writings on his arm. And when he holds down the finger, it basically says that they need to go where they need to go to figure out the truth. And he's there to guide her. His existence and why he exists is because she figured out the puzzle. Therefore, he must help her to go on her journey to find her truth. Rion, and he's still trying to find his way to somewhere where he can spread the truth of what he's seen with the Skeksis. And he comes up on this little village in Stone in the Wood and they lit. I mean, they drinking and they partying and dancing and they throwing stuff in the air. It's these little bitty creatures and they're like, yeah, and they just having a good old time. They see Rion, they don't see him as, you know, a threat because they probably don't even know what's going on. And they pull him in the room and it looks like a little bar or something. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And they handing them drinks and he's just like, what's really going on up in here so once he sees he's really not a threat he can sit down and take a little break a little breather because he knows that man nobody here is gonna attack me so i could just kind of take a break so as he's sitting there some he he sees somebody that's looking at him and they say rion we're looking for you and it is the brother and sister of gurgen you know gurgen is in captivity and he says, no, you don't understand. You can't take me back to the Skeksis because it's a lie. I didn't kill her. I didn't, look, just, just dream fast with me and I can show you the truth because there's no way I would kill her. Like, do you really think that I would kill my girlfriend? And do you really think that I did something to your brother? Just dream fast with me. 
And as he's saying this, he sees his father because his father has still been looking for him too. They're reluctant, but they go ahead and dream fast. And remember that the dream fasting is something that the Gelfling can use when they touch hands and they can share thoughts, things that they've seen, and um, they can have that moment to just show what they know. And as they're dream fasting, they see what the scientists did to her. They see the Skeksis planning and drinking of her essence. And they are in disbelief and say, wow, you know, we really need to tell everybody and we need to dream fast now what we know and share, especially with people in Stonewood because Stone in the Wood, because we've got to get the truth out. And the father says, you know, I'm just, I don't like it that I didn't believe you. And I was just in dis disbelief because who would do harm and who would, what person that is the protector of the, the crystal would do such a thing? So he apologizes to his son and he says, I'll do whatever I can to get the word out, but at the same time, protect you. And as they say that, the brother, brother and sister of Gurdjian say, you guys get the word spread out, but we've got to find our brother. We got to go back and rescue our brother. And Rion says, that's great, but be careful. You know the dangers that are there and just be careful. And the sister says, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can see, find. And the brother says, I'm going to see what I can find. We've got to rescue our brother. As they leave, you have Rion and his father have a moment. And he says, son, I'm sorry that I didn't believe you, but I just thought it was just crazy. I thought you were sick in the head. I thought it was some, something going on because the girlfriend just came up missing and you guys are all ways together. And he says, look, father, I'm just happy that you're here and we've got to get out of here. And all of a sudden, they see the hunter and the hunter has tracked them down. The father and Rion, they are fighting them to the best of their ability. And unfortunately, the hunter pushes the father into this abyss of what looks like creatures that, that pull you down. And once they pull you down, it's like quicksand. They, they take you over and they start to consume you. And Rion is seeing the hunter and his father go down into this abyss and slowly disappear and he's think thinking that the hunter and his father are done and he can't believe that he's just seen his father die but his father isn't dead nor is the hunter they emerge from this abyss and the hunter takes away his father and starts to pull him away of course Rion isn't accepting that as a defeat he knows that in this situation he can't run away anymore he has to fight his fears and go after his father so he goes exactly where he knows that hunter is going back to the Skeksis so he's on his journey back to the to the castle where the Skeksis are to help not only his friend, but his father. So we have all of these characters that are heading back to the Skeksis Why? while the battle Skeksi general is heading back to Hurrah. So we have this shift of characters that are now going in opposite directions. Let me know what you think. This episode was pretty quick and to the point. There were a lot of details that weren't, weren't critical to share, but the key points were those. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss posts, okay? <laughs> and make sure you follow me on Instagram, same profile name, officialbun underscore E. See you for episode five. Bye.